Okay, what's up? What's going on? How's everybody doing today? Welcome to the Risen Fallen Podcast. I am your host, Mark Hendrickson. And if you're brand new to this show, then what you can expect is open and authentic conversations about things like mental health and self-development and how to get your life moving in the right direction. If you're not feeling good about where you are right now, if you're not feeling good about where you woke up at, the person you woke up as, then at least having the confidence knowing that you are getting one step closer to who you'd like to be every single day and along the way, lifting other people up as well. And if you're not new to this show, then thank you very much for coming back, supporting the cause, supporting the journey, and supporting the notion and the motion of making yourself better and lifting other people up along the way as well. So whether you're brand new to this or not, uh, thank you very much for joining us for the show. From the bottom of my heart, you are the reason that I do what I do. Yes, you. And so, how is everybody doing today? Happy Thursday. It is a Thursday today. We are pummeling through this week. Uh, It is almost the weekend. It's going to be a great weekend. I'm pretty stoked for it as well. Um, That being said, right now, as I record this, it is Sunday today. So, this will be posted in a couple days from now. And um, today was a pretty good Sunday. I uh, ended up Waking up actually a little bit later than I anticipated. Um, it does happen every now and then. I do usually talk about it on here when it does happen. And so uh, if you guys listen to the podcast often, you know about when that happens and how bad that makes me feel. But uh, yeah, and I don't know if you guys relate to that. If you have anything that like when, when you wake up first thing in the in the day, if if this thing happens to you or for you or whatever it could be, uh, that... You know, I, I just feel like whenever this happens to me, when I wake up, it could be the first thing that happens to me. And I, and I instantly think like, this is going to be a difficult day today. Um, so for me, that's waking up later than I, uh, than I planned on waking up. For you, maybe that's something else. But for me, that's what I was dealing with first thing this morning. The first thing I woke up, I looked at the clock and I thought, I'm feeling not great about that. And so maybe you have an equivalent to that. Um, for me, again, it seems weird. It seems redundant. It seems, uh, like kind of, uh, it doesn't make much sense. However, that is the thought that I have first thing in the morning when I wake up a little bit later than I thought I wanted to. And, uh, that's reality. So I'm sharing it with you. And so, um, yeah, got up a little bit later than I wanted to. I, um, I, first thing I did was I came into the office here and started doing some editing on the podcast, getting, uh, getting a couple episodes ready to get posted up. I went and got some groceries. I went and got, uh, you know, all my stuff ready to do some meal prep tonight. And, uh, you know, I got some movement in while Miles and Mel were here. I got a, I got a good half hour bike ride in while we were sitting and chatting in the living room, uh, on my little stationary bike. And then I did like a good half hour stretch as well. So I got a good amount of movement in today as well. And uh, all in all, the reason I'm telling you all of this stuff is because after they left, I got the groceries done. I got ready to do the meal prep. I got my exercise done. I worked on my podcast. I did all of these things, did the laundry, made the bed, washed the bed sheets, etc. cetera. Uh, not in that order, obviously. I washed the bed sheets and then made the bed. But the reason I bring up all of this stuff is because for me to start to plan ahead for the rest of my week and to start to work on uh, tasks that are going to come into fruition in the future, like working on this podcast or planning ahead or thinking of, you know, ideas of projects that I can have in the future for that mind space to be created for that, that, uh, that environment inside my brain to be created. uh, Personally, I had to take care of all of the essential things. And the reason I bring this up is because I feel like a lot of us are stuck in survival mode. A lot of us, uh, you know, whether you're listening to this and you can relate to it in, in one form or another, maybe, you know, we're in survival mode living paycheck to paycheck. Maybe we're in survival mode because, you know, we're, we're depressed and we're anxious and we're not feeling great about where we are in life. And for whatever reason, you might be in survival mode. Maybe it's because of your relationship. Uh, maybe you're, you're going through a lot of stress with that. Maybe it could be family matters. It could be anything. It, it, it's, it's activating a primal section of your brain um, 
that that puts us in that fight, flight, or freeze. It's this idea of, well, I guess maybe not like that shock uh, fight, flight, or freeze, but a minute or a smaller version of that in, in terms of being in survival mode. And what do I mean by that? When you're in survival mode, it means that you are missing some of your necessities. You know, we think of survival mode as, you know, food, water, uh, roof over our head, clothes on our body, uh, basically like protection from the elements and nourishment to keep going. But in today's day and age, we look at, you know, the necessities of what a human being needs, not only just to survive, but to be happy and to find fulfillment and to love other people and to care for other people and to make their environment better than, you know, what they inherited. Obviously, like the the goal is to leave the world better than what we had when we were born. And so for us to actually be looking into the future, for us to, you know, um, be able to have that foresight to look into the future and to plan for the future we need to obviously know that our needs are met right now we need to know that all of the necessities are going to be taken care of and so traditionally like i said we think of the necessities in life as food water shelter clothing whatever uh, but I, I truly do believe that as human beings, we need other things like uh, a loving relationship, good friends, support group, uh, you know, a purpose, a drive, a, a reason why, all these different things, you know, and, and everybody's list is going to be different. Uh, I know for myself, like you can break it down even to the basics of just like knowing you're living in a tidy environment. For me, like that's a, an important thing. Uh, knowing that, you know, I'm going to have clean clothes to wear, so the laundry has to be taken care of. Knowing that I'm going to have n- nourishing food to eat, not only for today, but for tomorrow. So knowing that I have groceries in the fridge, meals prepped, uh, nutritious food that's going to fuel my body to keep me moving. There, there's all of these necessities that I think that we all need to sit down and, and deem for ourselves as necessities. You know, for me, that's exercise, making sure I'm eating right, making sure I'm sleeping right, making sure I'm actually in a good place with the relationships with the people that I love, whether that be my girlfriend, my parents, my my siblings, my best friends, the people I work with, the people I work for, the people I do work for, et cetera. Like, uh, like um, you know, there's so many different things. And I think that I think that a lot of us, we get stuck in this mentality or this mindset of survival, whether it is living paycheck to paycheck or, or trying to get your next dopamine rush because for some reason, you know, you just haven't figured out how to feel good yet, whatever it could be. I I just feel like, um, a lot of us, we seem to have these ambitions and we seem to have these goals for ourselves. And we, we always seem to think like, okay, I'm going to do this thing. I'm destined to do this thing. I'm going to start a podcast. I'm going to start a business. I'm going to start a family. I'm going to start this. I'm going to start that. And we always prolong it. We always think, you know, uh, how come I've never started it? How come I keep kicking the can down the road? And that leads to frustration and it leads to, um, you know, low confidence, low self-esteem, really doubting yourself and thinking like, obviously, if I was meant to do this, I would have done it by now and I'm not doing it. So maybe I should stop dreaming about doing this thing. And I think that a lot of us, we feel guilty and we feel shameful for not acting on the goals that we've set for ourselves or we've, we've thought about for ourselves. And I think that a lot of the times we feel this guilt and we feel this shame because we can't figure out why we haven't started. We can't figure it out. We think, you know, I really want this thing, but I, I just, I'm, I feel like such a pussy. Like I can't move forward with it. And I think that I think that we need to give ourselves a little bit more grace and understand that a lot of us are in this survival mode. We're in this survival mindset of, you know, uh, I need to get this done today. I need to make sure I can get my food, my, my clothes, my water, my shelter, my, you know, everything has to be, uh, taken care of. And I think that, you know, a lot of us, we, we maybe take some of these things for granted or we don't, we neglect some of the things that are necessities. And because we neglect those things that maybe, you know, they're not primal, primary, I guess is the better word. Maybe they're not primary necessities. Like you won't die if you don't have them, but maybe they're secondary necessities. Like you won't flourish without them. Like you'll survive, but to what level? Like, will you actually enjoy your survival or will you just be kind of surviving? 
Uh, I think that a lot of us, we take care of our primary necessities, the ones that keep us alive, but we don't take care of the secondary or the tertiary like uh, necessities that not only keep us alive, but keep us uh, alive and well for ourselves and then well enough to flourish to help others as well. And, and the reason that we don't have the foresight to look towards the future or a better future is because we're just trying to survive today. And so what do we do with this information? What do we do with, you know, this uh, perspective shift? Personally, uh, I, I sat down today with my journal and I reflected upon, you know, what things do I need to take care of today so that I can effectively plan for the future, so that I can sit down with a clear mind, without anxiety, without stress, without worry, knowing that all of my necessities for the day and the week are taken care of, now I can sit down and plan for the future. And I think that without knowing what these necessities that we need are, and it's going to be individual, it's going to be different for every single one of us. There's, it's not a one size fit all, it's a one size fit one. So when you can isolate and, and, and determine what the necessities you need, not only to survive, but to flourish and to be able to provide for others as well, you know, w without actually defining what those necessities are and then meeting those necessities, we will never be able to plan for a future, let alone a better future. And so that, that would be the one thing, if you could take anything away from this episode today, is to reflect on what those necessities could be for you, not just to survive, but to flourish. You know, what would that mean to you? Would that mean, you know, having a clean car instead of just a car? having a, a clean room, having an organized closet, having, you know, a kitchen that you feel confident walking into, or at least not embarrassed of when your mom comes over or whatever else, you know, um, what does it mean for you? It, it's, I'm just trying to rattle off things that make me kind of feel good and make me kind of feel prepared. But it's like I said, it's going to be individual. So Something to think about, something to ponder about, something to journal about, something to reflect on. And uh, on that note, I think that that's a great place to wrap this up. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, if you found any value or entertainment from it whatsoever, please do share it with somebody. Uh, share it with somebody you feel like might need this or maybe somebody that uh, you just thought of when I said this. And so if you could do that, that would uh, really mean a lot. It would really help the show. Uh, share it on your Instagram profile. Share it on uh, whatever you can. Get the word out there. Spread the message to those that need to hear it. Uh, I will see you guys next episode. Much love. Peace out. I love you all. Bye. Have a good night or a good day whenever you listen to this. Bye.